Time now for the latest instalment of our This Week in Golf series, in which we look at memorable events and golfing milestones going back over the years. Ahead of this week's Hassan Der Trophy in Morocco, we look back to 2010 when the tournament was played at the original venue Rabat and where history was made as the event became part of the European Tour schedule for the first time. The Royal Golf Dar es Salaam was the setting. The opening two rounds over the red and blue courses were played to a pro-am format and Ignacio Garrido of Spain, the tournament champion in 1996 and a two-time winner on the European Tour, opened with two 67s and a 69 over the demanding red course to move within five shots of the lead. Frenchman Thomas Levey put himself right in the mix with a second round seven under par 65 and last year's Spanish Open champion was only four back going into Sunday. That was the same mark as 26-year-old Thomas Aiken from Johannesburg, runner-up at the Africa Open in January and one of a generation of South African players set to challenge for the big prizes this season. Having tied third on his last outing at the Maybank Malaysian Open, Rhys Davies was back in contention at Rabat. Helped by a second round 64 on the blue, the lowest return of his career on the European Tour, the 24-year-old rookie led it halfway and with a round to play was only two off the lead. To win for the first time on tour, he was going to have to beat Louis Oosthuizen of South Africa. Successive rounds of 64 took him to 20 under par and heading the field for the first time going into the final round of a European Tour event. It seemed his maiden win was there for the taking. Come the final round, the charge from Rhys Davies was on. A chip in at six really got him moving. My main focus is more to prepare to, to win golf tournaments and, and if you can do that then other stuff looks after itself, uh, whether it be a Ryder Cup team, whether it be on the race to Dubai, all that looks after itself if you go out there and try and win tournaments and finish as high as you can each week. The Welshman was oozing confidence but a certain South African was proving a worthy adversary for Davies who was chasing that maiden victory. I was playing against Louis Eusthuizen of pretty much head-to-head -head with him and he was obviously a world-class player and went on to, to win a major so it shows how, how uh, talented and how good of a player he is um, but so therefore I also knew that I didn't always have you know I wasn't never going to be cruising in fact most of the day I was behind so I was always pushing to try and catch up and overtake so um, I just felt like trying to go forward trying to keep making birdies and put him under as much pressure as I could Birdies at 13 and another from a brilliant tee shot at 14 did just that. And Davies was going two strokes clear. I didn't really think, um, didn't really think very much at all out there. It was all a bit of a blur and I just kept focusing on hitting the ball as close to the flag as I can and holding every putt I looked at. So I nearly did just, just about that. And with only his 24th putt of the day, Rhys Davies completed his finest hour, a seven under par 66 on a tense closing day to win by two strokes in only his 25th start on the European Tour. This is the first win, hopefully the first of a few, but right now it's, it's really special, it's really cool atmosphere and I'm just gonna enjoy this. Rhys Davies had his name on the trophy alongside greats such as Bayer Styros, Els and Harrington. We wish him well this week in Morocco.